Bueno, buenas tardes, mi nombre es Yolanda Omaca, eh, esta comunidad de Omacabueno, por mi familia. Esa parte que hacemos es parte de la Yasuní del sur. Y aquí hacemos es acerca de turismo comunitario, de conservaciones, el cuidado del bosque, los animales que tenemos por aquí. ¿Ahí? Por conservación hay bastante por hacer y aparte zonas de aislamiento voluntario, entonces hay que estar cuidando también por ellos también dentro, ellos viven parte al norte, viven ellos. Lo importante es nuestra cultura y nuestros valores y tradiciones de los guados también. Sí, 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 muy fuerte, no, muy largo. Claro, más fuerte. Sí. Para dirimientos. <risa> Cuando está muy cansancio, pasa esto le pasa rápido. Sí. Esa es la artesanía, nosotros hacemos con eso, defendemos mayor parte de las mujeres que siempre están pendientes de la necesidad del hogar. Mi nombre es Kauya Omaka, comunidad Omakaweno. Para mí mismo es días para algo de casa. Centro. Para ave, ave mata pájaro ahí viene acá, de aquí, a la sombra. Árbol muy grande y 60 metros de altura, árbol y mono matante. Tampoco una hora más tiene un tararero, mucho busque, ave de pava negra y va. Y Tomás vino poco selva a conocer, yo también guía el selva. El Tomás vino atrás y cámara. Yo soy el guía de selva, el busque. Mi nombre es Ángel, yo soy del comunidad Omacahueno, yo vivo aquí muchas y muchas veces viene a visitar siempre y cuando puede venir a visitar acá en nuestras comunidades, con, con mucho gusto puede venir. We've come here to the Ecuadorian Amazon jungle, one of the most biodiverse areas on the planet, to sample a specific plant family called Ananisi. This family is very diverse in rainforests, especially lowland rainforests. They're generally trees, sometimes in other parts they're lianas. And in the global project, we're hoping to sequence all the species of this plant family. There are about 2,500 species. Um, to try and understand the evolution of tropical rainforests, not just in Amazon, but across the whole globe where rainforests occur. And one part of the project is to come to these lowland rainforests and to collect different species of Ananasi. We're going to sample them and we're going to make herbarium specimens. Mm. 
tiene el pedúnculo verde, el pedicelo amarillito y el cutito es verde. Here we just collected a very nice specimen of the genus Anaxagoria, the genus that's sister to all the rest of the Ananaceae. And this genus grows here in South America, but also in Southeast Asia, but it's absent from Africa. Using these vermi specimens, we'll be able to study them, but also extract vital information from DNA, which is going to allow us to reconstruct the evolutionary history of this plant family Some Ananaceae have a very weird flowering pattern. And so this is the case of this species. This Inflorescence doesn't occur on the leaves, but they occur down at the stem. And even here we don't see any flowers. That's because the inflorescences start from this very long flowering stem. And this flowering stem goes into the ground. And it's going to go on for several meters, buried in the forest floor. So let's see where this takes us. So it takes us all the way to the edge. Now, the tree is over there, which is about two to three meters away. And this type of inflorescence is really meant for pollination by flies or small creeping insects and the flowers when they're open they actually smell pretty bad here we just have a flower which just opened in the rainforest it rains a lot so now we're just stopping before we collect a bit more afterwards trying not to get wet These are typical Ananasi fruits, which have this like star disposition of these small fruits spreading out. Actually, they're not that small. They're pretty big. And this is the genus Pseudomalmia. So after a hard day's work, these are our collections of palms and the sea.